In this video we are going to have the TCL 65 S435 review, we will have a detailed look on the various features this product possesses. This video will help you decide whether this television is perfect for your needs. We provided a link on the description to give you the best prices on the market right now. See Hinebase TCL is selling TVs hand over fist, taking market share from Vizio and other big TV brands in the US. It has grown 60% in each of the last two years, according to market research firm NPD, and its Roku TVs continue to dominate Amazon's bestseller lists. From a design standpoint, this year's 4 Series doesn't break the mold in new, interesting ways, but thankfully, it doesn't have to the 4 Series is about as good-looking as TVs in this price get. It's almost identical to some of TCL's Roku TVs from last year. The panel is propped up by two wide-set feet with all of its connectivity ports and a cutout on the back of the panel. I'm gonna be upfront about this, when it comes to the picture, the TCL 4 Series ain't much to look at. I mean, it's fine, I guess the best black level I measured, 0.017 nits, is plenty deep enough to hang with other, better TVs in this price tier. There's a small amount of motion judder, but nothing to sound the alarm bells over. But over the course of my testing, the 4 Series blue shifted grey tones became impossible to ignore, and the TV's wonky gamma habits cover dark scenes with bands of rippling shadows. One of my favorite aspects of the TCL 4 Series, and TCL's Roku TVs in general, is the inclusion of the Roku Smart Platform. Not only is it a great value, but as the glue that holds everything together, Roku's software couldn't be easier to pick up and use. I've tested low-end TVs, mid-range offerings, and some of the best TVs money can buy, and you'd be shocked to learn how many of them seem incapable of delivering zippy, user-friendly software. Overall, the TCL 4 series performed better in our HDR tests than it did in SDR for whatever reason, its colors were closer to their targets and grayscale measurements were less blue-shifted when receiving an HDR signal. That said, you shouldn't expect HDR content on the 4 series to look that much different than SDR content unless you're in a very dark room. If you're planning on doing even the smallest amount of calibration with your next TV, you ought to know that the 4 Series doesn't really offer much control over the picture unless you download the Roku mobile app. From the app, users can access various picture settings and make proper adjustments, but these features won't be found in any of the TV's various menus. The TCL 4 Series is better than its price would suggest, but not by much. I love the clean-looking, easy-to-use software and everything that comes with Roku functionality, but given the TV's limitations, I would only recommend it to people who are dead set on saving the most amount of money they possibly can. Where to buy? You can get the TCL 65 S435 through the link below in the description. We have checked to ensure those are the best price in the market right now. Thanks for watching, 